Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. When we have a lot of sit happening, the core doesn't. So today's video, you're going to do all seated. So you can do this right in your office chair or at home, targeting all those muscles that help support the spine. So helping our back pain, our posture, and even hip pain. For this first exercise, we're gonna work on those outer hips. If you've got a band handy, you're gonna to wanna to grab that. We'll use that for a bunch of the exercises today. So I am getting towards the edge of my chair a little bit. For the first one, I'm gonna lean my body back and then I'm gonna add that pull apart here. We're gonna shoot for about 15 to 20 until the outside of those legs gets a little bit tired. And then you're gonna switch. You're gonna keep a nice flat back and actually shift so you're coming forward. Same motion. So we're getting all of those side muscles. Those different angles will help to target different areas of that muscle. So same thing, 15 to 20 or until those muscles get a little tired. This next one is gonna work those inner thighs. So you can keep the band up here if you want it to be a little bit easier. If you want a little more challenge, you'll move that band down a little bit. And then you're gonna turn so that sole of the foot or the inside of that foot is facing up. And then it's a lift here. And you're just gonna come right back down. So this knee's bent a little bit, and then it's that little lift. You can even add a little bit more by coming across a little bit more, a little bit more challenging. And same idea, you do this until it feels a little bit tired and then switch sides. For this next one, we're gonna kick in those abs a little bit more. And with that band, you'll still be using those legs too. So again, getting towards the edge of that chair, really think about pulling in, engaging those abs, right? And then we're gonna take opposite elbow and opposite knee. So you really wanna think about guiding this motion from those abs. So it's a squeeze right from those obliques and that rectus abdominis, that lovely six pack muscle. I have a friend who told me he doesn't have a six pack, he's got a keg. So we're working on reversing that a little bit. Alternating here, notice I'm keeping everything else nice and still, right? You don't wanna be swinging with this or you're not using that core as much as you should. And generally about 10 reps on each side. All right, for this next one, we're gonna move that band back down again. We're using those abs a little bit more because we're using an arm and a leg straight this time, so it's a little bit harder. We are also gonna use the front of that leg, so advancing even a little bit more. So I'm towards the edge of my chair, but leaning back a little bit. Opposite arm and leg again, but this time we're going straight leg, and you don't have to touch, that's okay too, but really think again, engage from those abs. If you need a little bit more support, you can lean right on that backrest, make it harder. Clearly don't put your leg or your back, your, don't put your leg on the chair, put your back on the chair. And again, about 10 to 15 or even 20 on each side. Our last one's actually gonna be standing up and sitting down too. So you can keep that band on, or again, take it off if you want to, get towards the edge of that chair. I'm gonna shift my hips back, keeping my back flat. This engages those glutes a little bit more by being in this position. And I'm gonna go and stand on up. And then of course, I'm gonna sit back down. So again, really shift those hips back, engage those glutes a little bit more, and then tap down on that seat. If you need it to be a little bit easier, right? If your balance maybe is a little off, you can certainly hold something in front of you, or you can use your hands a little bit on that chair, or even resting on those thighs is a little bit easier as well. If you need some customized workouts and help and advice, not quite sure where to go, check out my membership options, which I will link for you. And the same thing, for this one, you wanna shoot for about 10 to 20 to get a little bit of fatigue in those muscles. 